Hey, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm back. I'm back this. I'm back today. You know, I had I made a little stop. You know, uh, I left Wakanda for a little while and uh, went on over oh, to you Lanford. Went over, you went to Lanford, nigga. Yeah, I went to Lanford. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I was I was a Lanford night. You know, you know, I, I was I was. What does it kill us? It makes us stronger. Yeah, Rose, Roseanne, Roseanne started um, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I uh, I didn't enjoy it all that much. No. Nah. Can't go home again. I mean, I'm still, I'm still. I mean, I've already committed in uh, what 45 minutes to it, so I still got at least four, five more episodes before I make my um, choice on it. But um, I'm still not satisfied with the fact that this nigga is alive. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with the entirety of the show that I knew and that I loved. <laughs> Everything was a lie. It was all fake. Yeah. None of it was real. <laughs> so I don't know who you motherfuckers are now, huh? Yeah, these, that's just what it is. It's just a whole bunch of new people now. Yeah, you're just new motherfuckers. Everybody is just. Mm, was Jackie really ever a cop? Hmm? Was she a truck driver? Because that's the intricate part of the, what I knew about her. So yeah. was that was that the fake part? Now all of a sudden she's this liberal ass fucking old white lady. Yeah. Do y'all make loose meat sandwiches still? <laughs> The f- I need answers. I want to know why why Dan is hanging drywall still. So apparently, the uh, the gig at the bus station, uh, the school bus fixing the school buses fell through. And uh, uh, what the fuck happened? Did the nigga own a motor- uh, motorcycle shop or did that shit close? Right, the motorcycle shop closed. You know, the the the, the bus the bus driver was the last thing that he was doing before they like hit it big, got rich. I was under the impression that. The whole hit it big rich thing, all of that was the fan- fantasy stuff. Yeah. But everything else was real. No. No. So was Darlene a writer? So is is she a writer? Did she go to Northwestern ever? Like, you got to do a season of, hey, that happened, that didn't. Right. So I don't be remembering shit and being, y'all can't call to nothing that I see and be like, oh, wait, that didn't happen though, or that happened. Like, I need these answers, Roseanne. Yeah, if we're going to continue on, like if this is not going to be a whole new show, if this is just going to be season 10, I need to know which one of these other seasons count and which ones don't. Tell us all that. And then, yes, uh, SOS Podcast, comment on the own podcast. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. Uh-huh. Who's doing that? Yeah, but uh, yeah, I will let one episode, especially one super long, dumbass episode, ruin an entire series. Yes, I will. I, I I'm, I'm that petty. It, it can happen, even though it did have some funny parts to it. You know, it's just, huh? So we we, we, we going How the fuck is Roseanne a Trump supporter? Yeah, I still I, that that didn't make fucking sense to me. It didn't. I she didn't she didn't she didn't like people like that. Right. From what I knew, but I guess I didn't really know this bitch. Now did I? <laughs> I guess once she got rich or dreamed that she got rich, rich. then <laughs> right. all of a sudden she became a fucking Republican. Mm-hmm. Then when, when, when the ha- wasn't your mama gay? Your best friend from a couple years ago? Wasn't she gay? Uh, damn, what else was they? What, what, uh, you, you had you, a whole you, fucking you, you, speech you, to DJ about fucking not liking black people. Yeah. And um, let's see. Then, then there was the motherfucking um, the representative that came to our house. Yeah, and she fucking chewed this nigga all the way to the give, fuck out, giving tax breaks to uh, businesses, which is kind of in line with what that motherfucker want to do now. That, that is literally Trump's platform. You cost him his whole all the mag race, right? Then you went next. You went door to door with, with that him, nigga, costing them votes along the way. You didn't like the one percent. You damn near tried to kill the lady poodle the whose hair you used to wash when you was a shampoo girl. Mm-hmm. Don't think I forgot. I remember. Or was that fake too? Right. Mm-hmm. You tell me. Was that a dream? Tell me. Motherfucker. Sitting here. Y'all ain't never had a, a name brand snack in your house and now all of a sudden you want to get highfalutin and shit. Right. I'm going to support mm. Trump. Trying to make America great again. When was America great for you, Roseanne? When? When was it, when was it good, Roseanne? When your father was beating you? When, huh? when, when, when DJ your father was, was beating your mama? When, when DJ was stealing police cars? Talking about your stupid motherfuckers left the keys in the car. I remember the Halloween episode, goddammit. All of them, Roseanne. We got we saw you. We saw all that happen. We lived it with you. Mm-hmm. But now you're a fucking Trump supporter. Uh, fucking Trump. Trump? Trump. 
come here, come the fuck on. Right. But yeah, I can get and I can I can get maybe small town people, you know, sensibilities change over and they they felt they feel that they had been wronged and factory shut down and he's saying he's gonna bring shit back and whatnot. And I get all that. I I was I felt I feel you you didn't like when Wilmington plastics went out of business. <laughs> well actually, no. Nah. You you part of the reason the motherfuckers went out of business. Didn't you cause a strike? Mm-hmm. You guys cause a walkout, bitch? Mm-hmm. Hmm? And I ain't you supposed they... to be all pro union and shit? Yeah, I remember when George Clooney was sitting there trying to tell you about the quotas and you was mad. Mm-hmm. You was trying to, yeah, I remember that shit. But, uh, oh, then it was Wellman. Yeah, Wellman. Yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah. You was, you was, but, hey, look, Roseanne, you lost your way. But my thing, I was watching it, right? So Dan come in with the prescription pills and shit. Yeah. Said, yeah, yeah. She said, "Is that why is this on a small bag?" He said, "Well, we getting half as much for twice as we getting we getting half as many for twice as much." Yeah, but you happy with the way you voted? Mm-hmm. Why? These motherfuckers are sitting there divvying out who get heart medication this month. Right, but the, you 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 you're upset at fucking Jackie for voting for Hillary. Talking about universal la- laughing at universal health care like you right. couldn't benefit from that shit. <laughs> like bitch, you like you waiting on Obamacare now. Mm-hmm. Like, let's be real. You, Dan, both Obamacare recipients. Gotta be. You what, what health insurance you got? Mm-hmm. Huh? I mean them 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 them, them side drywall jobs that Dan doing. I can see maybe you be upset upset about, you know, illegal immigration because Dan works like he's an illegal immigrant. I get it. I get it, you know. Motherfucker do drywall, cut cut lawns, fix cars and shit. He got he, he, he Dan was damn Dan, 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 Mexican. Dan, Dan living that no papers life. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely living that 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 that, that, that whole lifestyle of the, uh, of the of the of the the migrant worker. Right. Yeah. But, so I get it. But like that first episode, they literally introduced fifteen episodes that they're gonna have later on throughout the season. They're going to have, well, episode two was the little um, cross-dressing kid. They Man. had that. Um, they're going to have an episode about Becky losing her job. They're going to have an episode about um, the Wait, little mean, black uh, kid. Darlene. Darlene losing yeah. her job. They're going to have an episode about the little black kid. What the fuck is going on with that shit? They're gonna what have world is this baby mix? Mm. Right. This, what this, world is this, this baby mix? This baby is all of the black. All the black. They're gonna have an episode about Debbie, who well, Debbie from Shameless, who is fucking Darlene's daughter on the fucking show. But they're gonna have an episode about her and her tribulations in high school and getting adjusted and all of that shit. Right. And then they're gonna have an episode where fucking about this fucking um fucking what the fuck is going on with the who the fuck is who the fuck is um her sister. What, uh, Dar- uh, Becky and Darlene. Oh, Jackie. Jackie. Yeah, they gonna have an episode about her being this fucking liberal ass woman and her going through some bullshit. Is Jackie gay? Right. Is she gay? Didn't Jackie have a son? Where is Jackie's son? She did have a fucking son. Yeah, Frank or Fred Junior or some shit. Yeah. Jackie had a whole fucking husband. Where's Fred at? Right. How come? How come Dan is a bitch? Dan is a bitch. Dan is a bitch. He's a bitch now. I mean, before it was the, it was the strong, silent father type. Well, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna let. I got this house full of crazy people. I'm just going in the garage. Right. And 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 he did defer to Roseanne because she's fucking crazy. But I mean, but for the most part, he still stood his ground. Stood his ground. This motherfucker was mad because then nobody asked what he felt about a situation when when nobody getting asked about how they felt about the situation. He literally sat there and watched. Every when 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 Becky came when Becky uh, the, came in, yeah. I'm gonna be a surrogate. Everybody opened their mouth for the motherfucking opinion. And nobody's gonna ask me about how I feel. It, nobody asked nobody how you felt. <laughs> what what house has you been living in, Dan? When has anybody ever asked you how you felt about shit? When has anybody ever asked anybody how they felt about anything in that house? Huh? No. Never. Nigga, just speak your motherfucking piece. But nah. I'm going to the garage. I'm going to throw... And why was they throwing shit in that garbage can so hard? Why was everything <laughs> throwing away so heavy? They threw... All, everything was heavy as shit. I've never heard an empty beer can with such a thunderous <laughs> thud before in my life. That shit... Doof, every fucking thing that hit the garbage can... Doof, 
They got the heaviest ass disposable plates ever. <laughs> Everything. Just doof, doof. What the fuck is that shit? And I know y'all looking like, y'all just know this way too much shit about TV. Yeah. Yes, that's I what do. we do. <laughs> but but now that I mention it, you're gonna notice it too. You you're wondering also <laughs> what the fuck is so heavy about is y'all put sand in this shit? What the fuck? I guess Dan ain't drinking light beer. Right. <laughs> this is definitely not light. Mm-mm. Speaking of light, speaking of light beer. Hey, let, what, segue. We, <laughs> no, we do. The, that would be a great segue, but I ain't finished with this shit yet. We oh, gonna get to this. God this damn it! Shit. I know, right? Fucked up. But yeah, okay. So the little cross dressing kid, he goes to a public school in Lanford, Illinois, and they don't have a dress code. I can see that. I mean, really? I can see that. Yeah, I don't. Like, that's a progressive ass school. Nah, because like fucking rural ass schools, they don't have fucking dress codes. They don't really give a shit. What? They're not fit to have these motherfuckers who live on a fucking farm nine days a fucking week I'm not, spending I'm not, money. No, no, no. I'm not talking about uniform. Like you got to wear white shirts and black pants or blue pants or whatever. I'm talking about. Boys can't wear skirts to school. Yeah, but they in these fucking code. redneck ass fucking part of the woods. I guarantee you, they've never come across this shit. Probably. But when that shit happened, hey, wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, future oh, episode. Cool. Future uh, episode. Right, okay, maybe. <laughs> oh, that is episode nine. <laughs> and in what world? And in what world do you think you could take out your bully with a handful of trail mix? You just gonna carry trail mix on you all day, G? Hey, if a motherfucker, if I knew a motherfucker had peanut allergies and a motherfucker was fucking with me, yes, I would. Uh, on okay. deck. All at right. all times. And you better hope it, you better hope it's severe enough to where that shit just, hey, you, in the air, and he just immediately fucked up. Yeah. You better hope he don't wear a mask one day and just beat the shit out you. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Hey, the motherfucker might wear a mask that second day. That first day, the motherfucker gonna fight for his life. God damn it. But the second day, what the fuck are you gonna do, little Mark? <laughs> you, you might want to. You might want to. You might want to know how to fight. G. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, but I mean, shit. After the first one, and a motherfucker damn near die, he gonna change the whole fucking way he behaves. So I ain't even mad at that part. You say what? I ain't, and shit. The first, after the motherfucker whole throat swell up and all of this shit, and then a the motherfucker can't breathe. You, you know, a motherfucker will change their behavior. Mm-hmm. I guess I don't know, but that shit. That shit was mad weird to me. It was, it was a little, it was a little off put. I'm gonna just keep it real, and I didn't even get to the fact that they have a little black baby that they, you know, involved with, you know, being nurturing around and shit like that. And had this been the Roseanne of old, you know, wouldn't have thought twice about it. But this new age bitch that I don't know. I don't know if I'm comfortable with them fucking up the life of this young African child. <laughs> Not only that, they got this little, this fucking house full of Trump supporters and shit. And this girl supposed to walk around like she just don't see none of that shit. Right. And they got this little black kid calling his little white kid daddy. No. It's weird. But I think if it's her daddy, it's her daddy. But that's not her daddy. And is DJ weird still? DJ definitely looked weird. He, he had fucking, what, two lines? And the motherfucker still looked weird. He looks weird. He still looks weird. If if I had to venture out to say, hey, DJ, the AV Science Club kid that was oddly fixated on death and gore shit, but joined the military, I don't know if I'd have put that together that I, way. I would have. I don't know. Because that's where he can go to shoot shit. You know what? You're right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. All right. Cool. Yeah. But it's just weird. And then when his when his black wife come home to this family of Trump supporters, I just I, mean, I didn't gonna deal with it then. Like, cause this is awkward. I don't. I don't. It's just it's just weird to me. And then she is she gonna say, I remember y'all some motherfuckers who didn't want him to kiss me in the play in the third grade. Yep. That was Dan. What did they get over that, or did that not happen? Because you know, uh, uh, that, TV, yeah, and you do shit because of reasons. Was that part of the dream? Right. 